everybody. This is the start of week seven of e-learning. That's crazy to say that. Um, so we have week seven, eight, and nine. So um, I'm going to try and keep this week and next week short and sweet. I know that you guys are experiencing burnout like us teachers are too. It's just um, we're, we're getting towards the end. <laughs> so um, the last week we're just going to do some fun things. So really we just have about two more weeks of learning. Okay, guys? So keep please keep working on your sight words. Um, please keep practicing counting to 100 if you're still working on that. Um, a lot of those big things that I have listed on the newsletter for math, um, focus on those standards, okay? So this coming Sunday, May the 10th, is Mother's Day. So your guys' writing assignment for today is to go in your room or somewhere away from your mom or your grandma or something. If you want to do this for your grandma, that's fine. And write her a letter. You can say, Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Or you could say something that you really like to do with your mom or grandma, okay? So, because Mother's Day is coming up, I'm going to read you guys this book. I think we've read it before by Vera B. Williams, A Chair for My Mother. This is a Caldecott Honor winner, which means it got an award for having really good pictures. My mother works as a waitress in the Blue Tile Diner. After school, sometimes I go to meet her there. Then her boss, Josephine, gives me a job, too. I wash the salts and peppers and fill the ketchups. One time, I peeled all the onions for the onion soup. When I finish, Josephine says, good work, honey, and pays me. And every time, I put half of my money into the jar. It takes a long time to fill a jar this big. Every day when my mother comes home from work, I take down the jar. My mama empties all her change from tips out of her purse for me to count. Then we push all of the coins into the jar. Sometimes my mama is laughing when she comes home from work. Sometimes she's so tired she falls asleep while I count the money out into piles. Some days she has lots of tips, and some days she only has a little. Then she looks worried. But each evening, every single shiny coin goes into the jar. We sit in the kitchen to count the tips. Usually Grandma sits with us, too. While we count, she likes to hum. Often she has money in her old leather chair, old leather wallet for us. Whenever she gets a good bargain on tomatoes or bananas or something she buys, she buys, she puts by the savings and they go in the jar. So a bargain is like a good deal that you get or a sale. So look at her mom. She comes home, she looks like her feet hurt and she's all in this chair and she's falling asleep because she works so hard. When we can't get a single other coin into the jar, we are going to take out all the money and go buy a chair. Yes, a chair. A wonderful, beautiful, fat, soft armchair. We will get one covered in velvet with roses all over it. We are going to be the best chair. We are going to get the best chair in the whole world. That is because our old chairs burned up. There was a big fire in our other house. All of our chairs burned. So did our sofa and so did everything else. That wasn't a very long time ago. That's sad, isn't it? They had a house fire. My mother and I were coming home from buying new shoes. I had new sandals. She had new pumps, which are like heels. We were walking to our house from the bus, and we were looking at everyone's tulips. She was saying she really liked red tulips, and I was saying I liked yellow ones. Then we came to our block. Right outside our house stood two big fire engines. I could see lots of smoke. Tall orange flames came out to the roof. All the neighbors stood in a bunch across the street. Mama grabbed my hand and we ran. My uncle Sandy saw us and ran to us. Mama yelled, where's mother? And I yelled, where's my grandma? My aunt Ida waved and shouted, she's here, she's here, she's okay, don't worry. Grandma was all right. Our cat was safe too, though it took a while for us to find her, but everything else in our whole house was spoiled. So this little girl lives with her mom and her grandma. They all live together. What was left of the house was turned to charcoal and ashes. We wanted to stay with my mother's sister, Aunt Ida, and Uncle Sandy. Then we were able to move into our apartment downstairs. We painted the, well, the walls yellow. The floors were all shiny, but the rooms were very empty because they didn't have their things anymore. The first day we moved in, the neighbors brought pizza and cake and ice cream, and they brought a lot of other things, too. 
The family across the street brought a table and three kitchen chairs. How nice is that? The very old man next door gave us a bed from when his children were little. My other grandpa brought us his beautiful rug. My mother's other sister, Sally, had made us red and white curtains. Mama's boss, Josephine, brought pots and pans, silverware, and dishes. My cousin brought me her own stuffed bear. Everyone clapped when my grandma made a speech. You are the kindest people, she said, and we thank you very, very much. It's lucky we're young and can start all over. Wasn't that so nice of their neighbors to help them like that when they were in need? That was last year, but we still have no sofa and no big chairs. When Mama comes home, her feet hurt. There's no good place for me to take a load off my feet, she says. When Grandma wants to sit back and hum and cut up potatoes, she has to get as comfortable as she can on the hard kitchen chair. So that's how Mama brought the biggest jar home so she could find it. Sorry. So that is how come Mama brought home the biggest jar she could find at the diner and all the coins started to go into the jar. Now the jar is too heavy for me to lift down. Uncle Sandy gave me a quarter. He had to boost me up so I could put it in. Look how full it is. After supper, Mama and Grandma and I stood in front of the jar. Well, I never would have believed it, but I guess it's full, Mama said. My, mo my mother brought little paper wrappers with the nickels and dimes and the quarters. I counted them all out and wrapped them up. On my mother's day off, we took out all the coins to the bank. The bank exchanged them for $10 bills. Then we took the bus downtown to shop for our chair. We shopped through four furniture stores. We tried out big chairs and smaller ones, high chairs and low chairs, soft chairs and harder ones. Grandma said she felt like Goldilocks and the Three Bears trying out all the chairs. Finally, we found the chair we were all dreaming of, and the money in the jar was just enough to pay for it. We called Aunt Ida and Uncle Sandy. They came right down in their pickup truck to drive the chair home for us. They knew we couldn't wait for it to be delivered. That was so nice of her to get that for her mom. I tried out the chair in the back of the truck. Isn't it pretty? Mama wouldn't let me sit there while we drove, but they let me sit in it while we carried it and up to the door. We set the chair right beside the window with the red and white curtains. Grandma and Mama and I all sat in it a while. Aunt Ida took our picture. Now Grandma sits in it and talks with people going by in the daytime, and Mama sits down and watches the news on TV when she comes home from her job. After supper, I sit with her, and she can reach right up and turn out the light if I fall asleep in her lap. Isn't that so sweet? So she talks about how they had some hard times. But her mom worked so hard and she wanted to do something nice for her. And so she got her a chair. So remember your writing assignment is to go write your mom or your grandma or some important lady in your life um, a Mother's Day card, okay? You can say nice things and maybe something that you would want to get for them if you had money, okay? The sight word for today is the word now. N-O-W. Now. Ready to skywrite? N-O-W. Now. You're going to stomp your foot and say, I have to go right now, okay? Now, please write that three times, and you can try and write that sentence now, okay? Alrighty, I will see you guys in the next video. Miss you. See you later.